when we first uh, turn it on, it is going to default to your rigid camera head. Does everybody know what I'm referring to? Yeah. Right? So there's two boxes here that have ports. Um, the bottom one, this is where I would put my rigid camera head, right, that we use for the Lodos that we put on the eyepiece, right? And then this X-Link box, which is newer, um, actually connects to um, this card edge for the new flexible scope, right? Pretty simple. What we've done is made it a little bit difficult in that it defaults to the rigid camera head, okay? So if I plug this in right now, it's not gonna give me an image, right? Which is what happened in a case last week. Is anybody in there? You know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? So you're like, oh my gosh, you plug this in, it's broke, we just got it, there's a bunch of problems, right? So unfortunately, um, the way our system is designed, um, you have to go in and change the display. So what I've gone and done is there's presets here. So when you turn this on and nothing is plugged in, you're gonna see these tiles, right? So if you know you're going to use um, a flexible scope, you just need to come to the presets. And this is, there's a keyboard here. So you're just using the arrows? Yeah, I mean, well actually I'm using, this is like a mouse. There's like a little pad that's like oh. a mouse. And a left and a right click button, that's what I use. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna come to this little, um, and you have two um, options now, or three actually. So if it's set on none, it's going to default and it's, it's already the rigid camera head, like I said. The second one is flexible scope X-Link, right, which is, um, which is our neuroscope, which is what we want. And then the third one, just in case somebody gets confused, you can go in and pick rigid scope camera if you're flipping back and forth. Because I think in those cases they will Sometimes use the Loda and then go to the flexible. Does that make sense to everybody? Am I, I, don't, I sometimes I go too fast, sometimes I go too slow. Everybody's comfortable with that. So all I need to do is just select flexible scope, right? And once it's loaded, then all I'm going to do, I have dropped the scope in one of these inserts before and broke it. So. Um, so in theory, we should be able to get an image, right? So a couple of complaints on this, anything weird about this, we can actually make this larger if we want to, okay? Um, they can do it from the, they can do it from the um, buttons on the top of the camera, right? So if you look on here, there's a back button with a circle on it, that's our menu button, and then there's a left and right back and forth, right? So I can actually go here, go let me. I can go in here, select zoom, so I go down to zoom, and I can actually make this larger for them, okay? We still appreciate it. Because the resolution's high enough that it's, it's not gonna like distort the image, right? Or get pixely, if that makes sense. So a couple things that'll make you look like rock stars, one, you know how to zoom it, and one when they plug it in, it's ready to go. Right? But pretty simple, but if, you, if we haven't gone over it, it's, it's not the easiest thing to navigate. Um, I was supposed to be in the last case. I also got sick last time, so I will be here hopefully for the next couple. So um, again, just kind of a, a review. Is there a way to default it to the, the largest zoom? Uh, I believe that it will default and stay where it's at, um, but I'll have to check that, okay? Um, some of our new, newer software updates will have it. I'll have to check to see what software update we're on, okay. and whether it's an option. I mean, does that make sense? To 100%. Yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's the right question, for sure. Um, but sometimes, unfortunately, we have, to, we have to deal with, you know, some engineer in Germany not thinking through that, and then we'll add it later. So I, I think it's been added, but I want to make sure before I okay. tell you 100%. So that's pretty simple. Everybody okay with that one? Yeah, okay. So the next step is going to be, um, is going to be all of our accessories um, with this manual uh, holding arm, okay? So I'll let you handle this a little bit. Um, it's pretty basic and pretty easy. I think most of you guys have it um, uh, at least once or twice had to clamp one of these. Um, onto the bed, okay, what, what's challenging with this and with any neuro case is setup, right? Like, 
having to move the patient around and having to figure out um, angles and attack, right? So again, this this was not in the set. This was, or you store these? Um, Separately. Okay, so um, as normal, right? It catches on the top. Not telling you guys anything you don't know here, right? And then we just have to make sure that we have this secure and tight, right? One thing that makes this different than most is that we can actually change the angle, right, of how it accepts um, uh, the manual arm, right? So in most cases, and again, I'm not really supposed to talk about the actual uh, fundamentals of the surgery, but in most cases, this arm, right, is kind of um, parallel to the angle that we're gonna go in with the scope, right? So we can actually, I don't know if you guys can see, I can actually shift this mouth in any direction that I want, right? Pretty self-explanatory, right? You guys are good with that. Um, so it's a little bit different and has some adjusting that you guys can do, right? And in my experience, the challenge really becomes, you know, fighting for space, draping it, right? Everybody does it a little differently. I wish I could give you the specifics on that, but you guys have probably done enough of that. Um, so the first step, this is gonna have a holder. This is kind of a safety device. Um, we have to take this off. It will not go through the mouth with it on, right? Again, I don't know if I'm going too fast or too slow, right? Well, let me secure this first. So once I get an angle that I like, right? Obviously, tighten it. And again, I think most of this is not really and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. You're not, it's not really driven by you, right? Actually, I'm gonna tighten this once I get it in. Right? It's, this isn't like you're doing, they're gonna have to kind of take it for their own, right? And all these pieces have still. <laughs> they do, everything mm -hmm. with the exception of, of the clamp, bed clamp, right? So again, once this is on here, it doesn't allow, you know, if they're adjusting it, it's not gonna be, it doesn't come, it won't come through, right? So everybody understands that. Okay, and once I get the angle of attack, right, or I get the right length, right, I can lock it in. Now, second step is going to be, you know, how rigid where I want this, right? And again, this can be a little hard, but again, for the most part, you guys aren't going to be doing this. They're going to be right adjusting all of this. Um, and again, depending on how they're situated, how they're positioned, um, they'll have to uh, make adjustments. So what's going to happen is these arms are both completely free, right? And all I have to do is righty tighty this, and it'll lock it in place, right? So it is not going to move at all, right? This will. This is our locking mechanism. We're going to go over that here in a second. But as you can see, these two pivot points are both completely locked down, right? And it's only as sturdy as the table, okay? Yeah, all right. So then the next step is going to be, well, how do I get, um, how do I get this connected, right? So as you can see, there's actually a, um, let me make it so you guys can see it, all right? So there's a female in here, right, and a male end here. These are our two um, adapters, okay? This one holds the flexible scope in place, right? So once I get this placed, this actually will open the jaws a little bit more. Right? It will actually secure on, it will not damage it. It's got some, um, it's got some um, rubber stoppers to kind of hold it in place. Okay, you guys see how that works? I'll put it on here in a second, yeah. And then this one here is actually for your load up, right? So there's actually, um, on the Lotus scope, there's a kind of a triangle between, um, and again, we're just gonna attach this to the op trader, right? So on the op trader, you'll actually see that there's a, there's one little spot between the sheet the end of it and kind of where the, um, the scope fits into the op trader, there's actually, it's, it's triangular. So it fits right in here. And again, all you have to do is just lock it down and it'll hold it in place, okay? 
I have seen, I've seen both where they connect this, right? They put the scope in and then they place it, which can be hard. I've also seen it where they place the optrator and then they move this to the optrator. Does that make sense? So there's no, you know, gold standard way of doing it, okay? So this can be a little tricky, right? So I'm gonna pop this into place. Let's see here. So it's got an arrow on it that says open and closed, right? So you need to go all the way to open. It'll click. And then you're gonna go into close. And as you can see, it's secure. I can open and close this. Adventure for the watchers at home. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so pretty easy stuff, right? Not rocket science, if you've never seen it and you walked in and the rep wasn't here for the first time, you would be, be a little confused, right? So again, two different adapters, Loda, and this is for the uh, flexible scope, right? But again, the biggest challenge with this is really setup, angles, positioning, which is not really on you guys as much, but being able to tell them, hey, we need to use this adapter, right? And maybe um, being able to help them move this up and down, right, side to side, is really the, the key to the whole thing. Like I said, I'll be here for the, the first couple. Once they use it once or twice, it's gonna start being pretty easy. So, any questions on any of that? No? Pretty straightforward, I appreciate your time. If you guys have questions, let Becky know. Um, she'll text me and I'll come running. Um, if she's out and 